So now we start on question one. They say a mathematics teacher wants to create a model by which she can predict a learner's final marks. She decides to use her 2015 results to create the model. Right, so now we've got a table there showing us the preparatory exam marks uh, as well as the final exam marks. So what she's actually doing is making the um, prelim uh, results as her independent variable, right? This is on X, right? And she's using the final marks as the dependent variable, and that is on Y. Now, they say to us, determine the equation of the least square regression line in the form Y is equal to AX plus C. Um, or rather, Y is equal to A plus BX. So please remember in this case. So what we're going to do, ladies and gents, please, you're going to actually choose or select mode. And you, you go to stat. Uh, in your different calculators, of course, these are different functions. Please just know how to use your calculator, right? So I'm going to choose A plus BX. So I'm going to input all of this data into my uh, calculator. Please remember, every time you input data, you press the equal sign uh, so that you go to the next one, right? So I've got 55. Uh, I've got, I'm going to start with the X uh, um, variables. So I've got 35, next one, and 67. I've got 85, okay, and please be very careful because all of what we are going to do depends on this data that we are getting. So we've got 91, we've got 48, uh, we've got 78, we've got 72, I've got 15, I've got 75, and let's go to the next one, that's 69, as well as 37 right so there's no escaping using a calculator here okay so i'm going to have on my y values right so the first one is 57 okay let's be as accurate as possible 50 the next one 67 um oh actually that's 74 Sorry, I'm just going to go back there and say 74. Okay, that's 80. The next one, that's 92. That's 50. That's 80. 81. I've got 23. I've got 80 again. Right, so let's go to at 75 as well as 42. All right, now, now that I've got all of my data, remember then what you are going to do. You have to make sure that all of this data is now stored in your calculator, right? So I am going to say uh, mode, right? So I select mode again. Remember, uh, in this case, uh, I've got my stat function, then I'll say shift, then I'll say stat, right? So now that I want an answer, right, so I am going to say regression calculation, right? So there I've got A plus BX, so my A value, right? Uh, in fact, let me show that. So, which means my regression calculation Right, so let me write it down there. So this is y is equal to my a value is 12 point, well, 12.01, let me put it that way, plus, okay, my b value, okay, that's 0 0.88x. All right. And I'm just uh, going to write down that correlation coefficient, right? So that's 0 0.98 uh, in this case. All right, now let's try to answer the questions. They say determine the equation of least square regression line, right? So this is the equation of our least square regression line. And uh, there we have it there. Now they say draw the scatter plot and show the regression line. So all you need to do, ladies and gents, 
is try to plot all of these points. Now, uh, this is quite tedious. It may take us a little bit of a while because um, this, I, I don't have, you know, a, a grid. Uh, in fact, I could enable it. So let's say, okay, six, let's say seven, eight. In fact, let's just make some more space so that we've got as much opportunity as possible to draw this correctly, right? So remember on our X values, right? We've got the prelim results, right? Uh, let's say this is 10, 20, 30, that's 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Okay, let's do the same for the Y. Say this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And let's just extend this a little bit and say that's 100 over there. Now, guys, um, really, you would be given, you know, a graph wherein to draw this. Okay, so it's very important. Just use that grid there. Okay, it just makes it much, much easier to draw this graph. All right, uh, I'll say this is 10, 20, 30, that's 40, 50, 60, that's 70, 80, 90, and 100. All right, so there's no easier way for me to do this. Okay, so let's put in all of those values. So I've got them here on the side. Um, you can refer back to the values that are on your calculator. Okay, let's try and do this as quickly as we possibly can, right? So I know that when uh, X is 55, so that's the first one. So when X is 55, Y is uh, 57. Okay, so uh, 55, okay, and 57. Okay, guys, as I said, my value will not be as accurate. Okay, and you've got uh, when x is 35, so I've, again I've got 35, y is 50, so there I've got 35 and 50 over there, right? So you're just plotting all the points. Now I won't complete all the points, I'm just showing you how to do it uh, with these three, and then you can complete the rest, right? And then the next one, I've got 67. Okay, so 67, perhaps let's say somewhere there, and 74. Okay, so there's 74, let's say over there. Okay, so this is the meeting point. And of course, you can already see that this is kind of following a linear trend. Uh, 85 and 80, so again, uh, apologies there. So 85 and 80. So there's 85 and there is 80 over there. And really it is showing quite a strong correlation. Guys, you will continue this for all the points that are given to you uh, until you complete all of them. Right. Now, what I just want us to do is just to quickly draw that regression line. So we can draw the X and the Y intercept, or you can choose any of the points and just simply put it together. Okay, so remember we've got Y is equal to 12.01 uh, plus 0.88X, right? So you can choose two points, right? So let's choose, let's say 12.01. Uh, plus 0 0.88, let's say, times 10, okay, right? So let's find the corresponding Y value there, okay? So 12.01 plus 0 0.88 times 10, okay, that gives me 20.81, All right, let's find another point again. Let's say uh, when y is, 
yeah, let's take 90. Uh, y is 12.01 plus 0 0.88 multiplied by 90. And let's see. Okay, so I'll say 12.01. Okay, plus 0 0.88 multiplied by 90. Okay, and that gives me 91.21. So I'll go and find those two points uh, on my graph. So the first one will be when x is 10, y is 20.81. So when x is 10, y is 20. 0.81 so this is almost 21 okay let me just draw them on a different in a different color okay so that we know this is these are the points for our least square regression line the other one when x is 90 y is 91.21 okay so when x is 90 okay y is 91.21 Okay, let's put it somewhere there. And all we're going to do, ladies and gents, is we're just going to join those two points, right? Uh, so those are the two points. This is our least square regression line. Okay, and we are just going to extend it like that. All right, ladies and gents, so now um, we, have, we have drawn our least square regression line. Okay, there it is there. And you've got all your points as well. Uh, of course, I didn't complete them, but you may, right? So now let's answer the next question. Now they say to us, predict the final mark of a learner who obtained 46% in the preparatory exam. So all we need to do is substitute that into our least square regression uh, formula. Okay, so... Uh, this is y is equals to 12.01. So we're saying if the learner uh, received uh, 0 0.8846%, 46%, what are they likely to obtain for the final mark? So that's 12.01 plus 0 0.88 times 46. Okay, so I get a value of 52.8. Four, nine. All right, so that will be the value that you obtain. That's the predicted mark for the final uh, examinations. All right, so then the next one, they say to us, uh, determine the correlation coefficient of the data. You would have done this with your calculator as well, right? You still have that data, so you've got 0 0.98. Right, so that is the correlation coefficient. Right, and then on the next one, they say draw the relationship between the preparatory exam, or describe rather the relationship between the preparatory exam uh, and the final exam results. Right, so it is a strong positive correlation. Okay, uh, correlation. Um, you can even say very strong, okay, uh, because it's very close to being one. So it's a very strong uh, correlation there. And then finally, they say, could you use this equation to estimate the preparatory exam mark for a learner who obtained 73% in the final exam? Give a reason for the answer. Well, ladies and gents, please, I want you to always remember when we make a prediction, we are making a prediction based on the x value, the independent variable, right? And we are making a prediction on the y value. That's why the equation is this way, right? Y is equal to. But in this case, when you are given a y value, we are not allowed, right, to make an, a, a, a prediction of the independent variable, okay? So in this case, uh, could we make a prediction? The answer is no. Okay. And why is that? Uh, because in this case, the final exam, or rather, let's say uh, the preparatory exam, uh, 
okay, is the independent uh, independent okay independent variable okay right ladies and gents that is how the cookie crumbles on this first question i really hope that you are going to obtain all the marks stats is quite easy right uh, it's just a, a uh, calculator it's like it's just calculator work that you really need to master all right let's get into question two